1939, in the November issue of the Burlington Magazine, the well-known art critic Abraham Bradius announced the discovery of a painting and declared that he had every reason to believe that it was the masterpiece of Jan Vermeer of Delft. He wrote, Expression indeed is the most marvelous quality of this unique picture. Outstanding is the head of Christ, serene and sad as he thinks of all the suffering which he, the Son of God, had to pass through in his life on earth. Jesus is on the point of breaking the bread. At this moment, the disciples have recognized Christ risen from the dead and seated before them. The disciple on the left shows his silent adoration mingled with astonishment. In no other picture by the great master of Delft do we find such sentiment, such a profound understanding of the Bible story, a sentiment so nobly human. The colors are characteristic of the mirror. Christ in a splendid blue, the disciple on the left in a fine gray. The other disciple in yellow, the yellow of the famous Vermeer of the Dresden Museum. And finally, the servant is clad in dark brown and deep gray. Moreover, the bread is an excellent example of the pointillé technique typical of Vermeer. As Brazios said, this painting is every inch of Vermeer. Several years afterwards, this head of Christ was discovered, and from this time on, one discovery followed another. In 1941, this Last Supper,